Hello everyone and welcome to iMind Training. I am Sam Pavlaker and today we are going to dive into a powerful Excel function that will revolutionize the way you work with your data. Alright, let's get started by introducing to you the Tate function in Microsoft Excel 365. This function is a real game changer when it comes to extracting specific portions of text from a cell or a range of cells. Let me show you how you can do the same. So here you can see that I have an Excel spreadsheet and in that spreadsheet I have certain fields like product ID, product name, seller and his sales. Now if I want to extract the first three rows from this data. How do I do the same? So for this, on the right side, I've just copied the headings and over here, I will use the take function. So I will type equal to take open parenthesis. Then it is asking me for three parameters. The first parameter is the array. Array means the data, the entire data which you want to uh, from which you want to extract the information. So this is my entire data range. Comma. Now it is asking me from this entire range how many rows you want to extract. In our example, we want to extract three rows. If you want to extract four rows, you type four. If you want to extract five rows, you type five. In our example, we are taking three rows. Comma. Now it is asking how many columns you want. So the fourth parameters, that is the number of columns, is optional. So if I don't type any columns and I just close parenthesis and hit enter, it will assume that I want to see all the columns from the data for the first three rows. So the moment I hit enter, I get the data for the first three rows from this range. Now let's assume that I want to extract the data for the last three rows from this range. So we have to just edit this state formula and over here where you have specified the three rows, we say minus three. So instead of taking the first three rows, it will take the bottom three rows. So I will hit enter. And you can see this is it is showing you the printer, keyboard and mouse, this data, which is over here. So this way, you can use the take function to extract specific rows from our data. Now let's take another example. Suppose in, I want to extract data for only those products whose name is mouse. So how do we do that with the help of the take function? So I will show you over here in a separate area. I am alternately using a function called as the filter function. So I will say equal to filter. I will give open parenthesis. Now it is asking me the array. So I select this is the array comma what to include so I want to include this equals to what so equals to mouse and I want to close quotes and close brackets and hit enter so from this entire range it will extract data for mouse now I want what I want is I want to extract only the first three details from this mouse data only the first three rows from the mouse data so what you can do is you can copy this filter formula control c copy and then come to a blank row and over here you type equal to take open brackets and now over here you paste the filter formula then you say comma and then you say I want the first three records only. Close bracket 
and they get tender. So for mouse, it is showing you only the first three records. Now let us take another example. In this example, I want the top three highest sales achieved sellers. So for this, how we will do the same. So Excel provides you a function called as the sort function. So I type equal to sort, one parenthesis, what to sort, this data, comma, sort index, which column to sort. So I want to sort the fourth column, comma, and in what order, in the descending order. Close parenthesis, hit enter. So now you can see it has sorted the data based on the sales in the descending order. So the highest has come on the top and the lowest has gone down. Now from this, I want to extract the first three highest sales. So in that case, what you'll do, we'll copy this sort formula from here, like this. Control C and then over here you will say equal to take open parenthesis. Now where it is asking you the array, there I paste this formula. Comma, how many rows you want? I want only the first three rows. Close bracket and hit enter. So from the sorted data, it extracts the first three rows and shows you the result. So this is how you can use the take function in conjunction with sort and filter. And there you have it. The incredible power of the take function in Microsoft Excel 365. With this tool in your arsenal, manipulating text becomes a breeze. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to iMind Training for more Excel tips and tricks. Stay tuned for more exciting tutorials. Until next time, keep mastering Excel and keep learning.